algorithms that operate social media, the so-called recommender systems, they choose what you see, what you read, what you watch, what you listen to, and they have more power over human cognitive intake than any dictator has ever had in human history. They control the cognitive intake of billions of human beings. And they have very simple objective, which is to maximize clicks or engagement or how much time you spend on the platform. And those objectives are very closely aligned with how much money the platform makes. And you might think, okay, well, to maximize clicks, the system has to learn what people want, right? But we very quickly found out that that's not right, right? The systems instead learn to amplify clickbait, clickbait being articles that you click on, even though they're not very interesting or they're not what you wanted to read. They just have titles that make you want to click. But even that's not the solution, right? The, the way you maximize clicks is actually to modify people so that they are more predictable. Because the more predictable you are, the more I can, gener I can make you generate clicks by sending you stuff that I can predict you will click on. And it turned out that in order to make people more predictable, what the algorithms did was they actually learned to make people more extreme. So the algorithms created social polarization and in some sense the, the dissolution of our societies simply to maximize clicks. And they don't care what politics you have. They don't care what you read or watch or whether you even like each other anymore, right? They just care about clicks. And these are really simple algorithms. They don't know that human beings exist or that we have minds. They don't understand the content of what they're selling us. Um, so if they were more intelligent, they would do a better job of maximizing clicks. And the outcome would be worse for us. So this turns out to be a general principle, in fact, a mathematical theorem, that if you optimize the wrong objective and you do a better job of optimizing the wrong objective, in other words, if you're more intelligent, then the outcome for humans is worse. And so making AI better and better within the standard model actually makes the outcome worse and worse for human beings. So it's not the right model. So instead, right, we simply acknowledge that, look, if the, if the machine can be wrong about what our true objectives are, then the machine should not assume that it knows what the true objective is. It should acknowledge its uncertainty. It should be humble. And so here are the two basic principles. In the book, there are three, but I, I cut it down to two just for simplicity. The first principle is that the only objective for the machines is to act in the best interests of humans. And the second principle, that is it, it, the machine is explicitly uncertain about what those interests are. So that's the problem that the machine faces. 